Hi, I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and today we're with Jill Finley of Jalili Studios, and she's shown us how to prep her applique, and now she's gonna show us how to hand stitch. Okay, Kimberly, I wanna show you a few of the supplies that I use when I'm stitching. Um, of course, you're going to need a needle, and this is my favorite needle. It's Bowen, it's made by Bowen in France, and um, that's a hand stitching needle. It's, this is the applique needle, size 11. And I like the Bowen needles because they are um, one of the only needle makers in the world that still today sands the inside of the eye so that your thread doesn't get those burrs and, and break. Mm -hmm. And so they're really great. And they also have a really thin shank and they don't have a bulge at the eye of the needle so it doesn't leave a hole in your fabric as you're stitching so you can't see your stitches. So it's a great needle. And the next thing we're going to need is a needle threader. That's just because I'm old. You probably don't need the needle threader because you're so young, but um, this is handy for us older folks. And I'm going to use um, some black thread today because, so you can see, um, some contrasting thread because I'm going to stitch on the pink, but I'm going to use black. Normally, I would match my thread to my applique, not to the background, but to the applique piece. So, and this is how the needle threader works. You just put the needle in with the eye side down and then just put the thread in there and pop the button and your needle is threaded. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the thread I use. I use Aurofil thread, which I know that you, you use, and um, I have my own collection with the Aurofil, and this is my collection right here. It's got some wonderful colors. This is called Everyday Colors. So it's got um, all of the colors that I use in my fabric, fabric designs, uh -huh, in my fabric collections. And then another thing that I use is a product I've developed. It's called a polka dot. And this is a little sticky thimble. You just stick it on the end of your finger. Wherever you get that hole in your finger when you're pushing Push the back of your needle. And every quilter knows where it is. When you're sewing on bindings and you get that sore finger, this is where you stick your polka dot. And so I just put, it sticks right on my finger. It has a little bit of texture. Can you feel that texture on there? It's kind of rubbery and mm -hmm. it's very thick. So you can't push your needle through and it won't ever poke you. And that texture will allow your needle to um, kind of direct your needle and it won't slip. All right, so we're ready to stitch. And um, before we do, I want to tell you a little bit about Aurofil thread. I love using the Aurofil thread because it's a nice, thin weight, and it doesn't show as you're stitching. And thread has a nap. Did you know that? Coming off of a spool. And so it's designed to use the end of the, the spool that comes off. We want to thread the lead end and not the end that we've cut, because that um, way your thread won't tangle when you are stitching. So what I do is I just make a loop and stick the tail end through it three, three or four times. It's just a simple knot. It's the same knot you'd get when you um, twist your thread around and roll to the mm -hmm. end. Sometimes I don't do that very good, so that's just the way I do it. All right, Kimberly, I'm going to stitch this leaf, and I've come up uh, with my needle through the background from the, from the back into this very bottom point. Now, I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to stitch from right to left, and I stitch on the edge that's away from me, not this edge that's toward me. So I'm um, going to pick up my piece and I put my needle underneath the back, underneath the applique piece, about a needle's width and then turn and come out the fold. And I'll show you. So I reach underneath the piece right where my, right where my thread comes out and travel and come out the fold. Push it with my little polka dot that's on my finger. See, I kind of hold the needle, seat it in the polka dot and then I can direct it where it's going to go underneath the piece, turn, come out the fold. Okay, so I'm just going to move on down this and you can just watch as I stitch. I reach underneath, turn, come out the fold. And what happens when I reach underneath, that's going to turn the edge of the applique piece and down to meet the background. Instead of laying flat on the top, it's going to um, create this nice little puffed curve. So here we go. And this little polka dot makes it so that I can stitch quickly. When I get towards the point, I do take my stitches a little bit closer together because I'm going to, I've got to tuck this flag. Remember that extra piece of fabric? I've got to tuck that in, so I don't want that to come out the other side. So I'm going to put my stitches a tiny bit closer together. Okay, and when I get to the very point, I come right out the very tip of the applique piece and then I turn it to go down the other side. And when I turn it to get ready to go down the other side, I've got the thread coming right out the very point of the applique piece. I'm going to kind of tug on that thread to sharpen that point, hold that there, then I just grab this flag with my needle and tuck it under. See how easy that was? And we talked earlier about not trimming that flag off so that... Because that makes it 
fray. Mm -hmm. Really simple to just tuck in. And then away we go. Just make sure there's any, any loose threads that are tucked in as well. And of course if you have matching thread this is going to look better, but you can hardly see our stitches even with the black thread. So, and then you just continue on down this side, doing the same thing. Reach underneath, come out the fold. Continue on down until you get to the next flag, which is on this point. And when we get to this flag, when we, our stitching is done, we'll just grab this flag. And same thing, just tuck it under with the needle. And then stitch away. Okay, I've totally stitched around that leaf. Now I'm going to go to the back of the background. Turn this over. And then I just do your simple slip knot where you take a little bite of thread, uh, fabric, make a loop, and stick your needle through it. And I do that twice. There we go. Jill, I really enjoyed learning about the hand stitching. Do you think you could show us how to machine stitch? Sure. Let's do that on the next video.